How's it going, Smashers? My name is Bonk, and in this series, we'll be taking you through the best players of every character in Smash Ultimate. We'll be going through them in roster order, and in this video, we'll be picking up right where we left off, starting with Dr. Mario. Also, before we get into today's video, don't forget to check out the rest of the series. We guarantee you'll learn something new. Dr. Mario is just as unpopular in Smash Ultimate as he has always been, potentially due to the fact that he's just as bad. That won't deter everyone, however, and one player who never misses his yearly checkup is Sumosuto from Japan. Ranked 41st on the Japan Power Rankings, this stock is a regular at Sumabato events, where he regularly places within the top 32. Sumosuto boasts a number of set wins over notable Japanese players, including some ranked on the PGR, such as T, Gact, and Itsuji. Aside from Sumosuto and my Shmovin Pocket Doc, some players deserving of honorable mentions are Fonz and Sem. With his first playable appearance since Smash Melee, Pichu actually picked up quite a lot of attention early into Smash Ultimate's life, and that should come as no surprise because Release Pichu was a genuine contender for best character in the game. This didn't last very long, and with the release of Patch 3.1.0, the character was nerfed into the ground, or at least the mid-tier. As with any character, a small handful of loyalists would remain, and the foremost of these players would be Niatono, who had been with the character since day one. With placements like 9th at EVO 2019, 25th at EVO Japan 2020, and 9th at Frostbite 2020, among his numerous solid performances at Umabura Regionals and Majors, he would manage to pick up a spot on both the Spring and Fall 2019 editions of the PGRU. With Void dropping the character in favor of his old main Cheek, Niatono would be in a perfect position to take the title of Best Pichu, and with wins over players like Mars, Kome, Kameme, and Salem, it's pretty easy to see why. That being said, there are a number of strong Pichus, and the character is still somewhat popular. Not far behind Niatono is Arfang, and a couple of Pichus deserving of honorable mentions are Black Twins, Nakat, and Yeti. Despite his reputation for being the worst Spacey, Falco is actually quite popular. He probably owes this to his incredibly simple, yet extensive combo game. The leading player in advancing the Falco agenda is Larry Lur, and while he doesn't exactly use the character as often as Wolf, he always makes it count when he does. His Falco has wins over players like Void, Spargo, and Louie Money, and has worked alongside his other characters to net him placements like 9th at DreamHack Dallas 2019, as well as 17th at 2GG Prime Saga. It may be worth mentioning that the best solo Falco main is most likely Masa from Japan, who notably has set wins over players like Kameme, Jagaimo, and Kept. Aside from those two, some Falcos that are definitely worth checking out are Juice and Tilde. Speaking of checking out, we have something you should definitely check out if you're interested in advancing the Good at Smash Bros. agenda. Right now, ProGuides is offering a three-day free trial of all of their services to anyone who signs up using the link in the description. Hundreds of courses taught by your favorite pros, and one free coaching session when you sign up. If you want to take your game to the next level, you should definitely check it out. Marth is statistically one of the least picked characters in the entire game, and this is apparent at all levels of play. While he had a bit more representation early on with players like Mr. E, Pugwest, and even MKLeo on occasion representing the character, most of his players either dropped him in favor of another character or are no longer competitively active. Despite this, some players are still going strong with the Hero King, and the most notable of these players is almost certainly Rizasu. Rizasu, like many Japanese players, does not travel often, and while he is ranked on the Japan Power Rankings as a Marth main, he does play a plethora of different characters, including Mii Brawler, Violet, and, good god, many more. This, combined with how few recorded sets he has, makes it difficult to verify exactly what wins his Marth has. That being said, some verifiable set wins with his Marth include Yone, Igapon, and Hiroki, and likely a number of others. In terms of honorable mentions, well, there really aren't many. One Marth you may be interested in is Krieg, but his offline sets with Marth are seldom recorded, so you may have to settle for online gameplay when watching sets of his. 
Marf's great, 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 great granddaughter Lucina, on the other hand, is extremely popular and often said to be substantially better as well. In the past, many even believed her to be the best sword character. While her representation has been on the decline, especially with MKLeo and Itsuji seemingly dropping the character, there's still no shortage of Lucinas at the top level. The best Lucina in Smash Ultimate is Proto Banham. While he does co-main the character with Min Min nowadays, it was his Lucina that got him to where he is now, and some of his most impressive placings include 2nd at Umebura Japan Major 2019, 5th at EVO 2019, 9th at EVO Japan 2020, and 25th at 2GG Congo Saga. Of course, placements like these come with big wins, and Proto Banham notably has set wins over players like Light, Shutan, T, Wadi, and Abadongo, among many others. It's not hard to see why he was able to secure a spot at 19th on the Fall 2019 PGRU, making him, without a shadow of a doubt, the best Lucina in Smash Ultimate. Lucina is still a very popular character, however, and there are naturally many highly skilled Lucina players at the top level. Some you may be interested in are Mr. E, Laid, and Leon, the European one. For the last character in this video, we'll be taking a look at Young Link. Young Link is by far the most popular of the three Links, and this may be due to the fact that this is his first playable appearance since Smash Melee, kinda like Pichu. While the best Young Link used to be Cola, he has since moved on to bigger and better swords. The person next in line for the title of best Young Link is Toast, and it's easy to see why. With placements like 33rd at the Big House 9, 13th at Let's Make Big Moves, as well as a strikingly impressive 7th at Frostbite 2020, Toast is one of the only Young Links to find major success at the top level. Some of his most notable wins include Samsora, Light, Void, and Cola. Like we said, this character is pretty popular, and there are a lot of players in contention for a spot at second place. Some of these players include Skittles, Kobe, Colonies, and Super Semi. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, Smashers. Do you agree with our picks? What characters are you looking forward to seeing us cover? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you can be notified when we upload new videos. That's all, and we'll see you guys in the next video.